For our first story, we travel to a floating island. Not for a canceled music festival, but to help sea animals survive. Let's check it out. When you think of an aquarium, you probably think of a large building full of tanks, touch pools, and lots. I mean lots of fish. But the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago has expanded what it means to offer marine and freshwater life to the public. Dr. Bridget Coughlin, president and CEO, likes it that way. The part about my job that I love the most is that I get to see on a daily basis people coming together to figure out the world and then what they can do to make it a better place. To show me how her aquarium is thinking outside the exhibits, Dr. Coughlin met me at an extension of the aquarium, the Chicago River. Not many people know it, but this is an essential ecosystem right here. It's amazing. Historically, this industrial river hasn't been kind to wildlife. In the late 1800s, the water was so polluted, it caught on fire twice. For the next 90 years, not much improved. Back in the 1970s, there were only 10 species that could survive in this river. Now we're back up to 70 species. It's a slow process, but wildlife is rewilding here in Chicago. Dr. Coughlin and her associates want even more species to return. And to do it, they're building islands? Floating islands are made out of thatched coconut husks planted with mulch and aquatic plants. The root structures are gonna go below the water and create lots of surface for larval fish and fish eggs. And then you'll see some wonderful things nesting above ground. This project is gonna create cleaner, healthier water and hopefully bring back some wildlife. Think of these islands like an oasis right in the heart of the city offering shelter and even food for insects, birds, turtles, and fish. The Shedd Aquarium, along with their partner, Urban Rivers, teamed up for this project in 2018. And two years later, researchers found an incredible 10 species of fish spawning around the islands. And fish aren't the only ones reaping the benefits. See all the feathers? Mm -hmm. Clearly some ducks are using this as their habitat. Fig, see the taller ones that are popping up? Yep, yep that's I milkweed. See it okay. That's the habitat for the monarch butterflies. Wow. A few weeks ago, the monarch butterflies were migrating. They came through Chicago, and this green habitat had polka dots of orange monarchs. It was absolutely beautiful. Dr. Coughlin reminds me what's under the island is just as important as what's on top. Do you see how there's a waterway right there between those yeah, two? Yeah, I That's can That's really special that. habitat. Great for larval fish. We've planted some lily pads for the first time, trying to bring back some amphibian species. As the islands continue to attract wildlife back to the river shores, Dr. Coughlin hopes public interest in animal welfare will blossom as well. One of our mottos is that we want everyone to take action for animals. You can take action for animals by making steps every single day. Something as simple as really being aware and reducing the amount of single-use plastics that you do. It's important to have that mission happen throughout everyone's lives. Fig, I can't wait for you to come back and see how the river continues to grow with wildlife. I'll have to come see how much it's grown.